Excuse me, mister. The bones? You won't be wanting the bones. <laughs> mister! Reply! Do you want them or don't you? They're yours. I don't like it. I've never known him refuse a bone before. Nice business it'd be if he felt sick on me. It's a scandal! Are you alluding to anything in particular? Well, to treat a man like that, I think that... No. A human being... No. It's a scandal. A disgrace. You are severe. What age are you, if it's not a rude question? Sixty? Seventy? What age would you say he was? Ageless. I am impertinent. I must be getting on. Thank you for your society. Unless I smoke a pipe before I go, what do you say? I'm only a small smoker, a very small smoker. It makes my heart go pitter-pat. It's the nicotine. One absorbs it in spite of one's precautions. You know how it is. Or perhaps you don't smoke. Yes? No? It's of no importance. But how am I to sit down now without affectation, now that I have risen? Without appearing to, how shall I say, without appearing to falter? I beg your pardon. Or perhaps you didn't speak. It's of no importance. Let me see. Ah, that's better. Let's go. So soon? One moment! Stool! More. There. Done it. Let's go. I hope I'm not driving you away. Wait a little longer, you'll never regret it. We're in no hurry. I'm going. Think twice before you do anything rash. Suppose you go now while it is still day. Well, there's no denying it is still day. Good. What happens in that case to your appointment with this uh, Gadet, Gadot, Gadin? Anyhow, you see who I mean. Who has your future in his hands, at least your immediate future? told you. He speaks to me again. If this goes on much longer, we'll soon be old friends. Why doesn't he put down his bags? Well, I too would be happy to meet him. The more people I meet, the happier I become. From the meanest creature, one departs wiser, richer, more conscious of one's blessings. Even you, even you, who knows, will have added to my store. Why doesn't he put down his bags? But that would surprise me. You're being asked a question. A question? Who? A moment ago, you were calling me sir in fear and trembling, and now you're asking me questions? No good will come of this. I think he's listening. What? You can ask him now. He's on the alert. Ask him what? Why he doesn't put down his bags. I wonder. Ask him, can't you? You want to know why he doesn't put down his bags as you call them? That's it. You are sure you agree with that? Oh, he's puffing like a grandpa's well, The answer is this. Oh, be still a moment, I beg of you. You're making me nervous. Here. Yeah. What is it? He's about to speak. Good. Uh, is everybody ready? Is everybody looking at me? Will you look at me, pig? Good. <clears throat> I'm ready. <clears throat> is everybody ready? Is everybody listening? Hog! I don't like talking in a vacuum. Good. <clears throat> well, what was I saying? I'm going. Uh, what was it exactly you wanted to know? Why he does... Don't interrupt me! Now, if we all speak at once, we'll never get anywhere. Well, what was I saying? What was I saying?
bags. Why? Always hold, never put down. Why? Ah, why couldn't you say so before? Why, he doesn't make himself comfortable? Let's try and get this clear. Has he not the right to? Certainly he has. It follows that he doesn't want to. There's reasoning for you. And why doesn't he want to? Gentlemen, the reason is this. Make a note of this. He wants to impress me so that I will keep him. What? No, perhaps I haven't got it quite right. He wants to uh, mollify me so that I would give up the idea of parting with him. No, that's not exactly it either. You want to get rid of him? He wants to cut me, but he won't. You want to get rid of him? He imagines that when I see how well he carries, I would be tempted to keep him on in that capacity. You've had enough of him? In reality, he carries like a pig. It's not his job! You want to get rid of him? He imagines that when I see him indefatigable, I would regret my decision. Such is his miserable scheme, as though I were short of slaves. Atlas! Son of Jopitos! That's that, I think. Anything else? You want to get rid of him? Remark that I might just as well have been in his shoes and he in mine, if chance had not fated otherwise. To each one his due. I beg your pardon. I do. But instead of driving him away as I might have done, I mean, instead of simply kicking him out on his ass, in the goodness of my heart, I'm bringing him to the fair, where I hope to get a good price for him. But the truth is, you can't drive such creatures away. Now, the best thing would be to kill them. He's crying. Old dogs have more dignity. Here, comfort him, since you pity him. Come on, wipe away his tears. He'll feel less forsaken. Here, give it to me. I'll do it. Make haste before he stops. We didn't like strangers. He's bleeding. It's a good sign. He stopped crying. You have replaced him, as it were. The tears of the world are a constant quantity. For each one who begins to weep, somewhere else another stops. And the same is true of the love. Let us not then speak ill of our generation. It is not any unhappier than its predecessors. Let's not speak well of it either. Let's not speak of it at all. It is true the population has increased. Will night never come? Guess who taught me all these beautiful things? My lucky! But for him, all my thoughts, all my feelings would have been of common things. Professional worries, beauty, grace, truth of the first water. I knew they were all beyond me, so I took a knook. Knook? That was nearly 60 years ago. Yes, nearly 60. You wouldn't think it to look at me, would you, compared to him? I look like a young man, no? Hack! Now look. Uh, did you see? 